Welcome back. Well, by now, you're no doubt familiar with the easy ways that we can go green. We can buy a funky light bulb and use in the home. You can buy a hybrid car, stuff like that. But the students and staff at one college campus are literally going above and beyond their quest to save the planet. Here's AFR correspondent Jan Sardar now with how they're learning an important lesson in Going Green 101. Right. This, this is a different type of sedum. It's called the spurium. As the resident horticulture expert at Swarthmore College, Jeff Jabko can identify almost every tree, plant, bush, and shrub that blooms on campus. The other one is just rosium. Uh, it's the same species, but a different cultivar. Though when he took the job, the director of grounds didn't expect he'd be perched four stories up on a dormitory roof, but that's how far and how high the college is willing to go to turn the campus green. It's habitat for insects and birds, uh, and it's beautiful to look at rather than looking at a white membrane roof. It doesn't just look good. The plants in the soil suck up rainwater that hits the building, saving it from the city's stormwater system. But this isn't just a green roof because it helps save the earth. It saves money, stretching the life of this waterproofed roof from 15 years to 50. It uh, actually acts as cooling. So it really reduces your air conditioning cost in the summertime for the building. It's one of many ways this campus protects the planet. When it rains, water flows through porous walkways. This former storm drain becomes a stream, and students and staff watch storm water turn into a waterfall. Thousands of gallons end up in a large underground tank, which the college will recycle when the weather gets dry. We're not using city water to water, so we're using something here. And as we irrigate that excess water, once again, it percolates down into the ground, and then can recharge the groundwater. College officials aren't the only ones creating an eco-friendly campus. Students like Lauren Goodfriend are in on the act too. Her computer and her lights get juice from a solar panel she set up outside her window. Then uh, the current travels through these wires. The setup cost um, Lauren some $400, which she won't earn back. Um, the flat fee she pays for her room includes utilities. She just wants to make a difference. This. So I thought, like, what matters to me? Um, environmentalism has always been important to me. So kind of what can I do along those lines? Well, I could generate my own power. <laughs> And from composting uneaten food to using sugar shakers instead of paper packets, one class spends a semester coming up with a comprehensive plan to turn the campus an even deeper shade of green. The students call on their counterparts and the college to do everything from conserve water and power to walk or bike instead of drive. We wanted to come up with a concrete plan as to how we could address the problem directly here at the Swarthmore College campus. Mark Wallace led the effort. He's a religious studies professor, not an environmental expert, but he says saving the planet is something everyone ought to believe in. I see the environmental crisis as a situation in which we need to bring spiritual and religious and moral and philosophical resources to bear to help solve the crisis. Well, Jim, this is certainly admirable, what they're doing over there. In some ways, it's very monumental, really. Oh, I mean, planting this stuff on the roof to uh, conserve the water coming down and to, to cool it and everything like it, that. Green roofs are, are just starting out, and as far as we know, this is the first college campus that has a green roof on its dormitory. So they're, they're really setting a new standard here. Do they market this? Um, beyond you know, where they are? Is this something that they're putting out so perhaps it could be a lure to bring students in? Uh, that's, a good, uh, that's a good point, Art. I don't know how well they've put this particular uh, item up on the agenda to try and get students to come. There are, they are one of the colleges that recently made it easier for, uh, you know, uh, lower middle class students to attend and, and that's something that might be a little bit bigger draw but this is definitely something that other schools across the nation are going to pay attention to this could be the start of a very big trend well and i asked you that because I mean, the, the journalist dennis we have to be a, just a little bit uh, cynical here i wonder if the things they're doing if there's a cost associated with that if they're passing that on to the students uh, actually as far as we can tell no because uh, as we said swarthmore has this new plan now like several other colleges including harvard to make it financially easier for students to attend and, and besides, well, this saves them money in the long run. Water that they uh, store in this, the rainwater they store in the underground tank and use to, to uh, spray their plants and keep them dry in the summer is water that they don't, the city won't build them for sure. using. You featured a, a student, Lauren, uh, in, in your piece who has solar panels in her room. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Is she footing the bill for that? She, it cost her about $400 for the setup and yeah, she, but she, for, to her it was worthwhile because she just wanted to do something yeah, that was important to her and something that helped save the planet. So yeah, about $400 
$100 of her own money, which she won't recoup because she already pays utilities as part of her dorm room package. She just wanted to do it to, to make a difference and make a point. Well, you think that they'd give her some kickback for it at least. You know, she's helping out, <laughs> saving them money. Here's a little something for you, but maybe not. But anyway, it's a very good uh, point, and uh, Swarthmore is a college that uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, others will be watching Absolutely. in the years to come. They're a front runner in this. Most definitely. All right, thanks, Jan. We appreciate it.